Welcome back to Viewers. My name is Bbase. This is Tears. We are fighting bats. Have we got already enough freaking bat fighting in the other games that we played Tears? Yeah, but this is Atami Palace. Well, oh yeah, the next stage, and you got your, your compass too. Did you? What's that for? Did you, did so I can go to come to Atami Palace. Oh, yeah, okay. Exactly. So you get new yeah. items that yeah, take yeah, you to yeah. new like okay. I'm on another island now. It's a nice looking item. I like the water animation in the back actually. Just use it. There, you, there go. you go. I don't think it takes you take damage from it. Oh, I do see that. No, I didn't see. I think they hit you while you're doing no, it. No, I don't. They actually do damage. Watch. See that? Oh. I do it 50 times to fucking demonstrate it. <laughs> For all you know, I already saw it. I just wanted you to keep doing it. <laughs> now this game isn't bad at all, though. It's you got your health back there somehow. It's easy, you regen health. I don't know how I did it. Maybe the health that you... you, you the water. <laughs> no, the water hit your head and your health, your health came back. Maybe. Be careful, you're gonna drop that to platform. Oh shit. Is it? That guy's not falling. It's the same models I use over and over again, what is this? Yeah, well, it was very limited space. It's gonna have like, a different background. <laughs> yeah, the background takes up all of it. Oh yeah, that, that, is, that is a big drop. Dragon down there. Get the hell down there. Nice. Do you get more points for throwing him down there? No, I think it's just die quicker. Yeah. You got better like that cheer. Yeah. Now, but it shows that the scripting was good for this game then. It, well, that's a trap. That's a new guy. Tall pirate. You reckon this was a Japanese translation? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Where were the bulk of the SNES games coming from anyway at the time? Needles. That did a lot of damage. Fucking tattoo, man. Deep, deep, deep. There you go. Come on. Up. Try and get back underneath that, that water. See what happens. There's a drip still. I think it gives you your health back. Fuck. It'd be nice if you were here to help. Well, sorry, I've died. Get under the water? I don't know. Wait for these guys to die first. Yeah, but if, if I'm wrong. Yeah, it is. It gives you health back. So it must be counting the use. Essentially. But was there something like that in the last no. map as well? Needles, needles, needles. If you fight under there, you got infinite health essentially. Oh, oh the fuck. He, he got hit by the needles as well, and so did you. And Why the fuck do I drop Go down, shit? there. Fuck. You got the whole map to play with here. It's a very tall pirate with green, with blue or pants. Water, water, water. Just sit here and regen. Beautiful blonde hair. So you're like the the medium medium character of everything, right? But I, my character was a bit um was wasn't was very fast, but did almost no damage. How come? But it's strange that there wasn't something like that. Oh, that's pretty. What the hell is that? And how come that woman is walking on nothing? <laughs> lady pirate, sickle man, dragon rider, lady pirate, big pirate, dragon rider. Am I, is this getting annoying? And boulder. No rock. So the rock goes to locations, um, uh, thing like in that area where you're safe. I got him. So when does the rock go? Oh, there's something on the ground. Pick up after. Is it gonna stay till after? Man, if if games had if games back then had tutorials like they do now, do you think anyone ever would ever play? Get out of my face. Have you played the Simpsons game? Which one? Hidden one? No, the Simpsons game. That's what it was called. It came out in 2006 or seven or something. It was a very popular... It was just a proper game with full-on animation and voice acting from the Simpsons and all that. But you travel through pretty much like like all the best episodes and like Trials of Horror levels and all the kind of stuff. It was, like, it was an amazing video game. It was like a groundbreaking I game, right? I can't... I can't shake there this you. guy. Lady Pirate. Um, they actually did uh, that. They the fun, one of the that you verse your former selves because um because one of the, the older right. SNES and NES oh, games. Something's happening. Probably another boss battle. Oh, the rock does hit you. But how do you know? Oh, the the, the shadow comes before it. Is the thousand of you still running? See any water droppers anywhere? All right, cheap fire. You just can't go into that. You can, can you throw people into it? I don't know how to throw them 
my seventh option. Yet. I just, oh, he just walked right into it. Nice shot. Turn. These bars are really too hard. You got four lives though, you're doing better than before. And you still got four mm. credits. I can't. What? Tears. You almost got it. Come on. Yep. Ah, there yeah. you go. Oh, I'm just going to keep giving you a brilliant introduction and. Yeah, remember you don't have any health regen here. No fountain of youth. Eat, good shot. That guy's just gonna keep walking into it. Don't worry about the guy on the right. <laughs> he'll he'll fix himself up. It's not very violent though. I have to admit, for a game that's like all pirates and sword and half cut swords, it's not very. It's not as violent as I thought it would be. Were there any proper violent SNES and NES games like you know proper blood and gore and uh... hurt and stuff like that? I'm sure there was, like, horror wasn't a big deal, I know that. The floor's changed. You were probably we're, inside we're a palace. It's a biome Biome, isn't it? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm pretty sure it's biome. Fat Park's gonna keep going for that. They're not that bright. The pirates. What do you think? Oh, the guy on the right. Ah, oh, he's back too. Oh! You gotta be ready, Tears. Backstabber. The guys on the left are just gonna take themselves out, don't worry about them. They're really not that bright. Could you imagine esports back then? <laughs> just sitting there waiting for all these people to fall into the fire <laughs> pits and all that. <laughs> oh, that would have been amazing. You got 146,000 points, considering in the first level you only made like 12,000. That's a max. because I just died. What do you mean? The poor. In the other stage. I lost my points. No, yeah, that's not what I meant. I meant um, you, you got more stage. points than before. Yeah, like in the pre first stage, you didn't get that many points. This one, you got heaps. Oh, you mean you died in the first stage, is what you're saying. Right. Surprisingly, they let you keep your credits, but not. Um, oh, is that health? Yeah. Minga, Minga Melon. Melon. What's that? Point. Point. What is that? that is. Did you get more points off of it? Yeah, you got 10k there. I love those these kind of games where every hit gives you some points. It's just so rewarding. It's like playing Payday. Oh, speaking of Payday, I forgot to mention. I procured myself a virtual reality headset. Oh, well done. Um, Good on you. So that sounds sarcastic. No, I was just trying to sound like enthusiastic and shit. <laughs> what the fuck um, is that? It's going to jump. I knew it. I could see it. Well, oh. Is it a boss? No, it's just the same dude it as before. Just that guy. Oh, that's strange. That was pretty good. You like the 3D graphics? Is that the, the developer was for like, you know what? I want him to, to come in differently for once. It probably, it probably cost a billion dollars to now. make that. Yeah. Sickle exactly. Man had a lot more HP there. All the guys have a lot more HP than before, dude. Be careful. And you're also using a lot of health doing that move. No, no, no. I just don't know to kill him. Isn't it, why isn't it a fountain of youth anymore? Yeah, um, I bought. Uh, I didn't buy any of the regular ones. I bought a Chinese Pimax 4K. Um, it's essentially, it's a, it's pretty much the same as an Oculus or an HTC Vive, the only difference is it hasn't got any controllers, but I'm working on procuring some controllers at the moment. Um, it's fully Steam VR compatible and all that, this isn't like a paid segment or anything, it's just, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it took, I will admit, it took a long time to set up and work, and I had to, uh, like, I wasn't a big fan of all the VR games that are released as is, like, you know, you know, I'm, I don't want just, like, some normal VR games, so I actually got my hands on a program that converts normal games to VR. Okay. So we can play pretty much any Windows game in VR mode. Yeah. That's it. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, I was playing freaking Payday in VR, like, have you ever seen anything that crazy? Payday in VR. Yeah, it just wow. it just works. Like you turn it on and it's three D. What controller were you using? The keyboard and mouse. How would you know where the hell you what, where the buttons are and shit for the keyboard? I'm got, I'm a, I've got one hundred and forty five words per minute typing speed, dude. An average person has ninety. So you, you get to full top of your eyes closing. Yeah, shit. of course. I've always I've been doing that since I was in like high school, like early high school. I used to do that. Nice. Then you have that same skill. Oh, I thought you did. Probably not with my eyes closed. No. Yeah. My um, IT teacher said the best way to do the best thing to do is um, a thing when, when like when I was in like year nine or year ten or whatever it was, he said to me um, typing to friends like often is probably the best way to do it, and he was right. It the game crashed. Is that a cutscene? Oh no. Oh. 
Is that is that the boss? It's a, it's a kid. Conk. Shit. Did a lot of damage though. Oof, range hits ass. boomerang. It actually, it actually says what you, what you got hit by. Oh, you can hit it back to him. Oh, you can just hit it back. Die. Remember, he's got two health bars, be careful. You get rid of that oh, yeah. one and the next one comes up, so just... It's just not doing it, there you go. Come on, conk. There you go. This is his final health bar. I'm surprised they don't have, like, stages like most boss battles do. Like, you know how, oh, um... Conk ass. You know, uh, stages in boss games where, like, you, you, you hit him a certain amount and he does some sort of stupid move and you got to wait for him to go back? This one's not like that, he's just like a regular dude. He can hit his he can hit the teammates as well. Just like all the, the traps and all that kind of stuff. You punk ass. You're choking, you're just choking the poor kid. Man, this is, it's, it's I can't believe it, it's, it's not a bad game in any way. Like, just take out the, you just take him out and the game's over, you know that, right? Oh, nice yeah. hit. Nice work there, Tears. Where'd he go? He just jumped dead. Wow. Again, that's two stages completed in two videos. Alright. You must have had a good rest over there, man. This is a good game, man. Alright, now we've got an emerald. The first treasure found. Oh, so uh, we're actually pirates too. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were just good guys. We're good pirates. Wow. Good pirates. Okay, where is it taking us though? I just love this animation. Panda Pandawa. Pandawa. Treasures of rule. Look at the other treasures you can get. Shit, the game's pretty long then. Nice. Oh, well, thank you for watching the BBQ Zone. <laughs> Again, Pandawa. We'll save that for the next one. Pandawa. Um, we'll catch you soon. Again, Tears is again progressing. We're in, I'm in the city now. Au revoir, everybody. We will catch you guys soon. I can't believe it. Tears, we're progressing quite well. Pretty good, eh? Oh, well, see you guys. Au revoir.